Israeli forces attack worshippers at Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque scores injured. Jerusalem Israeli police fired rubber bullets and stun grenades towards rock-hurling Palestinian youth at Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque on Friday amid growing anger over the potential eviction of Palestinians from homes on land claimed by Jewish settlers. At least 205 Palestinians and 17 officers were injured in the nighttime clashes at Islam's third holiest site and around East Jerusalem. Palestinian medics and Israeli police said as thousands of Palestinians faced off with several hundred Israeli police in riot gear. Tensions has mounted in Jerusalem and the occupied West Bank during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. With 90 clashes in East Jerusalem's Sheikh Jarrah, a neighborhood where numerous Palestinian families face eviction in a long-running legal case. Calls for calm and restraint poured in on Friday from the United States and the United Nations with others including the European Union and Jordan voicing alarm at the possible evictions. Tens of thousands of Palestinians parked into the hilltop compound surrounding the mosque earlier on Friday for prayers. Many stayed on to the protest against the evictions in the city at the core of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. But following the evening meals that break the Ramadan fast, clashes broke out at Al-Aqsa with smaller scuffles near Sheikh Jarrah, which sits near the walled old city famous Damascus Gate. Israel's Supreme Court will hold a hearing on the Sheikh Jarrah evictions on Monday, the same day that Israel marks Jerusalem Day, its annual celebration of its capture of East Jerusalem during the 1967 Middle East War. The Palestine Red Crescent Ambulance Service said 108 of the Palestinians injured were taken to hospital, with many hit with rubber-coated metal bullets. One of the injured lost an eye. Two suffered serious head wounds and two had their jaws fractured, the Red Crescent said. Most of the rest of the injuries were minor, it added. Pakistan has strongly condemned the attacks on the innocent worshippers in Al-Aqsa Mosque by the Israel forces that led to a number of injuries. In a statement on Saturday, Foreign Office spokesperson Zahid Hafiz Chaudhry said that such attacks, especially during the holy month of Ramadan, are against all humanitarian norms and human rights laws. He prayed for the speedy recovery of the injured. Chaudhry understood the needs of a two-state solution in accordance with the relevant UN and OIC resolutions with the pre-1967 borders and Al-Quds Al-Sharif as the capital of a viable, independent and contagious Palestine state.